Midpoint of two coordinates. There is a video to do with this on core one. However, we might want to use this in a more practical way when looking at circles in core two. Now, to find the midpoints of coordinates x1, y1, and x2, y2, use the equation shown here, which is basically to find the mid value between the x1 and the x2 and the y1 and the y2. Now the reason this could be useful when looking at circles is if we have a line AB which is the diameter of a circle where A and B are minus 2, 3 and 4, 11 respectively you can find the coordinates of the centre of a circle. So what this means is we've got a little grid and we've got a circle and we've got our two coordinates, we've got our minus 2, 3 which will be somewhere over here and we've got our 4, 11 which is somewhere over here and these are the diameter of a circle now the key thing to remember about diameter of course is that that means it passes through the centre if it's a diameter it passes through the centre of the circle which means that halfway between these two points on the diameter will be the centre of the circle. So, if we use the equation that we're told, let's call this one the first one, so let's have this one as number one and this one as number two. So these ones are going to be x1 and y1 and these are x2 and y2. Now we can use our equation to find out the midpoint or the centre of the circle. So the coordinate minus one uh, minus two plus four divided by two and then you've got the y part which are the eleven plus the three and divide that by two which gives us the following coordinates coordinate minus two plus four is two divided by two is one and 11 plus 3 is 14, divided by 2 is 7. So the centre of this circle would be a 1, 7.